and welcome to Design Tip of the Week from yesimadesigner.com. My name is Martin Perhiniak, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use bleed in Photoshop. Now first of all, what is bleed? This is a term that you might not be familiar with. This is used in print, and usually when you want to print something and you want to assure that you have color around the edges of your print, you will have to actually uh, design an additional three to five millimeter on the edges, which will be cropped or trimmed, assuring that your final print will be perfect on the edges, so it will have full color all around, and you don't have any white uh, gaps left on the edges. So you can see here the example on the right, where I say print with uh, bleed trimmed. So this is the one when you actually use a three to five millimeter bleed, which is going to get trimmed and then that's the final print and on the other hand if you don't use a uh, bleed then this is something that you are going to end up with when you have a white gap around the edges so what you need to do is to sacrifice that additional area that three to five millimeter area on the edges that's what i'm showing here on the left so wherever you see that red highlight that shows the areas which is going to be trimmed and you can see the crop marks there on the corners which represents where the uh, final print is going to be so how to set this up properly in photoshop because in illustrator and indesign you will find options for this and it's quite easy to set it up because even whenever you create a new document this option always comes up and you can actually set up the bleed while in photoshop you don't have that option in the file new document options so let me show you how to do this properly here in bridge i have the image which i would like to use for let's say an album cover so i'm going to place this into photoshop but before i do that i go into photoshop and create a new document so under file new i am going to create the size that I need for the album cover print. So I'm going to switch to centimeters and I'm going to just type in 12 by 12 centimeters and I need 300 pixel per inch for the resolution because I'm working with print and I'm going to switch to CMYK color again because this is for print and not for the screen. So once everything is set up like this, you, you can notice that you, there's no option for bleed here. We have to click on OK and then we can go back to bridge and from bridge I can place this into Photoshop. So I can right click on it and I can just choose place in Photoshop. Once I do that, the good feature uh, whenever you use place is that first of all it creates a smart object which is great because uh, that's uh, the non-destructive way to transform images to have layers as smart objects and the other advantage of placing in images from bridge is that it automatically resizes the image to your document size so I just simply have to press enter to accept uh, this placement and now before i do anything else i'm going to use the rulers which you can always turn on and off with command or control r or go to the view menu and find the rulers there so once you have the rulers you can click and drag and place the rulers on all the edges because this is going to be the final uh, print area because this is exactly 12 by 12 centimeters which you need for the album cover print but now i'm going to go to image canvas size and i'm going to extend the canvas itself by six millimeters because i would like to add three millimeters on each edges and that's why i'm going to type in six for the width and six for the height which means there will be three millimeters on left right top and bottom it's also important to make sure you have the relative option selected so that's the amount that you would like to extend your whole canvas with once you have that set up you can click on ok by the way if you want to work with five millimeters you should type in 10 millimeters for both width and height so once you click on ok you will see that now it got extended 
and now all we need to do is to extend the image as well it's very important so that's around the guides is the area which is going to be the bleed so I'm going to use command T or control T on the image layer and I'm going to extend the size holding down alt and shift while you are dragging with the free transform you can actually increase the size while keeping the aspect ratio and also keeping the center point in the place where it was so I'm going to press enter to accept these changes and I'm actually going to make sure it snaps to the edges right, like that so now you can see that that area around uh, or outside the guides is the one which is going to be cropped so that's a sacrifice you will lose that but it will assure if you print something like this with the bleed setup that you won't have any white gaps on the edges so I would already be able to go ahead and just print this out but of course if I would like to add more details or design elements here or maybe some effects I would be able to do that but I can always keep an eye on which area is going to be trimmed from the final print using my guides if I don't want to see my guides of course I can always turn them off going to the view menu I can turn off extras using this shortcut or just simply always coming to the view menu but I can also add another quite important guide and that is going to be the uh, safe area for text because imagine that this is going to be cropped here I just show you with the crop tool I show you uh, how it's going to look like so this is how it's going to be cropped so I have to make sure I don't get too close to the bleed edges and that's what we call the safe area and usually it's good to have like in this case with an album cover at least one centimeter around the edges where you don't place any text so it's like margins in InDesign so how to set that up once again I'm going to use guides for that and all I do is to change the origin of my rulers by clicking here in the intersection on the top left corner drag it onto the intersection of the top left uh, guides and I'm going to let go and you can see now the zero zero point is that point there that's the actual trim size top left corner so now I can drag out the guide from the left and hold down shift to align it to the first centimeter so there's a vertical guide I do the same from the top again hold down shift when I see one centimeter I let go and then I do the same thing on the right side when I get to 11 centimeters so that's one centimeter uh, from the final print size and then again I do the same thing at the bottom as well and I have the safe area so now if I make a selection you can see this is the actual safe area where I can work with text as well on this design but now that we have everything set up I can just first of all of course save this document but then when I want to get the final PDF ready with the bleed and the crop marks on it I can go to the file menu and choose print now even if you don't have a printer connected to your computer you can still use this option because once this opens up under print settings you can choose to save a PDF instead of actually printing this out you can first of all select the page size that you need and in this case if you uh, work with uh, album covers then you can just simply use an A5 paper size and then under PDF you can choose save PDF and you can set it up where you want it to save it let's just call this test PDF and I'm going to save it and then once that's selected all I need to do is to check the size I can see position and size yes it's using 100% scale which should be 12.6 centimeters yeah it's it's there so I can just close the position and size and then under printing marks I can find corner crop marks option which is going to be visible already there in the image if I make this bigger you can see it better but because the bleed is not selected yet it's actually adding these on the very edge of my canvas which is not what I want to do so I'm going to click here on bleed and once I select that and type in three I need three millimeters all around the edges and I click OK now you can see the crop marks went closer to the center of the image so let me show this again if I set this back to zero that's how it looks and then keep an eye on these crop marks 
If I set it to 3 millimeters and I click OK, now it's going to snap to the bleed that we wanted to set up in the beginning. So now I can just click on print and that's actually going to print into a PDF file. So if I want to check that out, I can just go to bridge, double click on the PDF and you can see that we have the perfect uh, print ready PDF here with the crop marks on it, which will help the printers to make sure that we get the final print size with the accurate measurements of 12 centimeter by 12 centimeter. So bleed is a design term which you should be familiar with and now you know how to work with it in Photoshop. And if you want to learn more about design terms, on my website, on the right side in the sidebar, you can find the designer's kit area under which you can find a couple of very useful PDFs and one of them is the design terms. So you are more than welcome to download all of these and use them. So I just show you the design terms. There are exactly a hundred terms in this PDF and it's good to be familiar with them. And one of them is the bleed. So just as a reference here, you can see the image as well and also the explanation of what does bleed mean in uh, graphic design. And that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you found this useful and I hope you will join me next time as well here on yesimadesigner.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. Also, if you want to learn more about design, check out my in-depth online courses on my website yesimadesigner.com.